Deck 11 aboard the Disney Dream Poolside Radio Row. John Daniels, we are having an absolute blast. Now, as you consider and plan your Disney vacation, you're considering going to Walt Disney World, all the new Star Wars attractions in Disney's Hollywood Studios, or perhaps a Disney Cruise vacation. You can kind of do both, right, Pilar? Because they have Star Wars Day at Sea. Yes, yes, you can do both. You can do a beautiful land and sea vacation. That's fantastic. If you like to see our Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World Hollywood Studios, it's a beautiful land, completely immersive. But if you want to continue your adventure and take a cruise, we have a Star Wars Day at Sea um, on the Fantasy that departs from Port Canaveral, which is near to Walt Disney World, so really easy vacation. And that Star Wars Day at Sea is one day of a seven-night cruise on the Disney Fantasy, and the, everything is themed to Star Wars. So not only you're going to encounter the, our characters, our characters from the saga, but you are also going to experience foods, beverages, um, theme parties, activities for the kids, for the adults, for the family, even the fireworks are dedicated to Star Wars. And there's also a Marvel Day at Sea, I understand. For the Marvel fans out there, absolutely. You love Captain America, you like, you like all the um, Marvel characters. We have a theme cruise from Miami on the DC Magic. And uh, same thing, one day dedicated to Marvel. Marvel activities, characters. Your kids are going to interact with all their heroes that they love. They're going to learn tricks from them. And they're going to enjoy with you as a parent all these activities that we have for everyone. And again, the fireworks, dedicated fireworks for Marvel. The Disney difference on every Disney cruise vacation, which you could qualify to win weekdays at 9, 1, and 4 with our KJOY Cruise Clues. And there's a bonus way to play right now. Go to KJOY.com.